Welcome everyone to this uh, online workshop brought to you by learn.wordpress.org. Um, this is getting started with a wordpress.org account. Um, and so what we'll be doing today, um, we're going to tour the different parts of a wordpress.org profile. Um, I'm going to attempt to demonstrate how to create an account live um, on wordpress.org. And if we have time, um, I, we can help, or I can help you um, create your own account on wordpress.org if you don't have one yet. And to set expectations, I'd also like to mention what we won't be covering today. Um, we won't be covering setting up a WordPress site or any support with WordPress site issues. I know that the term workshop kind of gives you the impression that we're going to be working on something, um, but it's the term that we use for any of these like live presentations, uh, whether they're interactive or not. So um, this is more of a presentation and a demonstration of a WordPress.org account. Um, and if that's not what you were expecting, that's okay if you need to drop out. Okay, so what can you do with a WordPress.org account? Um, this is a an overview of what you can, we can do with WordPress.org accounts. Um, but I'll be going into each of these points in more detail. Um, you can post on the WordPress support forums. Uh, you can rate and review themes and plugins. You can join the Making WordPress Slack, which is um, the, the chat that we use. Um, and you can track your activity and contributions to the WordPress open source project. I want to give you a little tour of what a WordPress.org profile looks like. So um, I'm going to go over the different elements of, of the profile. So first of all, I'll just show you mine for starters. So um, you'll notice that a WordPress.org profile has the following information. So it has um, your photo if you choose to share one. Um, and the, you know, the name of your WordPress.org account is first. So uh, mine is Courtney PK. And also on Slack, um, that's my username there as well. Um, it can include a, a bio as long or as short as you'd like. Uh, so a little uh, bit about you that you can include. Um, it could also include your interests, which I... Hmm, I didn't add here, but <laughs> um, yeah, it could just basically be as much as you want to share about yourself. Um, it can also include uh, some general information and employer information that you'll see on the right-hand side here. Um, again, as much or as little information as you'd like. Um, and then also if um, you contribute to the WordPress open source project, um, it shows, um, you know, if you're sponsored, so I'm sponsored by Automatic, um, and the, the teams um, and contributions that I've made are, are below. Um, so you see all these badges that are earned by an individual when they contribute to the project. Um, and something else that you'll notice, um, I... I don't contribute to the uh, polyglots or the translation team. So something you'll notice on profiles that do translations that they there will be um, a list of the translations that they've done. Um, I'll show you an example. Um, my colleague, Ben, who, um, who lives in Japan, does Japanese translations. So you'll see here under um, where we also have the activity tab. Uh, the translation tab shows uh, what translations that the person has contributed to. So I'll go back to uh, my profile here just to show you, like there's an activity feed of the um, the kind of, well, activity that I've had across um, the WordPress project. Um, it'll also include posts um, that I've made or comments on team blogs, um, the comments that I've made on the support forums, and any core WordPress core or meta track activity. So it's a nice place to see all of your accomplishments uh, here. 
Uh, what else? Um, so a profile also reveals your plugin and theme contributions. Um, I think a good place to see that is on um, Matt Mullenweg's profile, um, who's the co-founder of WordPress. So you'll see um, here, here we go, um, the same area where we had activity. Under plugins, you can see all the plugins that a person has worked on. Um, it can you can also favorite your um, your favorite plugins, uh, kind of like bookmarking or harding them in a way, and it'll save it under the the favorites tab here. So it's a good place for you to refer to if you wanted to keep track of certain plugins. Um, and I think that is a good overview of what a profile looks like. So next, where are profiles used? So um, I mentioned this very briefly at the beginning. So we have someone joining us, let me let them in. So where are profiles used? Where are wordpress.org profiles used? Um, first, uh, you'll notice that you can uh, when you have a profile on wordpress.org, uh, you can post on the support forums. Uh, the support forums are where you can ask the community for help with all sorts of WordPress related topics. So having a profi uh, profile on wordpress.org will give you the ability to post here. Um, and when you navigate to the support forums, you'll be prompted to log in where you can create review and support requests. Um, if you click on the usernames in these locations, uh, it leads to viewing that person's profile. So remember that your activity is visible on your profile. So I have a couple of screenshots here to show you what the forums look like. Um, so if you ever have any questions about using WordPress, um, or if you have any issues that you're running into, um, you can go to this link here. And related, with the, your WordPress.org account, you can also rate and review themes and plugins on the reviews forum. So it looks very similar to the support forum, um, but um, yeah, this is specifically for posting reviews for uh, WordPress themes and plugins. Um, and I'll share a link to that in the chat as well. So when viewing a plugin, uh, the authors will be attributed. So you'll see on this example, the Hello Dolly, Dolly plugin, um, that is as by Matt Mullenweg. When you click on the name there, that'll bring you to that person's profile. Um, and um, yeah, you'll also see at the bottom of this screenshot here that it shows the contributors and developers to a plugin. And again, that goes back to um, those profiles on wordpress.org. Our activity within wordpress.org is tied to our profiles and visible for everyone to follow. So this includes tracking one's contributions to WordPress. Um, on your profile, badges are added based on your contributions to the WordPress project. So there are two kinds of badges contributor badges and team badges. Uh, the contributor badges are generally assigned to anyone who has contributed to a particular team. Um, meanwhile, the team badges are given to those who are active on their team. And so each team sets its own criteria for who gets the badges. Um, but you know, if you do contribute to the team, um, you will be awarded badges like these. And you'll see it on your profile. Contributor team posts um, use profiles in a few places. So when I talk about contributor team posts, that is the, the blog for every uh, contributor team that um, works on the WordPress open source project. Um, so from wordpress.org, you can go to, uh, there's a tab that's like get involved, or I think it's under this community menu here. Um, you can navigate to a particular team site and uh, so when someone posts on one of these blogs, you'll see 
um, that their name here is at the, at the top of the post and you can click on that to see their profile. Um, there, whenever they comment on a post, that will also be linked. Um, and sometimes when people mention you in a post, just like um, on other WordPress sites, um, you will see a link to that person's profile. So this is an example post um, that I am using here, but um, yeah, all of the WordPress teams have blogs like this and you can access people's profiles when they post. And another way that WordPress.org profiles used um, are on core, meta, plugin, and theme um, track. Uh, so that will all reference profiles. So you'll see here a, a ticket on the core track um, someone that someone submitted, and you'll see the author name. Um, and um, when you're logged in, you'll also see your own profile at the upper right. Another way that um, .org profiles are used, um, if you are an attendee or a speaker at a WordCamp, which is the um, the large um, in-person gatherings of uh, WordPress users, um, so attendees and speakers at these events are often featured on the event's website using the same email associated with the participants' WordPress.org profile or Gravatar account, um, and Gravatar is the um, is the tool that provides the uh, the profile pictures on WordPress.org. So here's an example from WordCamp Buffalo on the left. Um, it shows everyone that has opted in to add themselves to the attendee list. And on the right is an example of all the speakers um, at WordCamp US this year. Um, that uh, all this information is pulled from their WordPress.org profile. So a lot of uses for your .org profile. I have one more. Um, so the WordPress project uses Slack um, as its main re real-time communication platform. Um, if you haven't heard of Slack, it's a, um, a chat, um, chat program where um, that a lot of organizations use. So for, for WordPress specifically, Slack is used for communication between contributors. So all the people that make WordPress, it is not for support. Um, you, If you do ask for support in the Slack, you will be gently guided back to the forums. Um, so uh, Slack replaced um, the previous communication platform, IRC. Um, reason is um, when we were compiling a list of, of things that people liked about our previous communication methods, it was obvious that Slack was all of what we wanted and more. So WordPress historically used IRC for its real-time communication. It is still where the real-time WordPress support channel exists. So if, um, if you're familiar with IRC, you can actually still log into there and get, um, get support in there. Um, but Slack communication is used for contributing to the WordPress project, be it code, design, documentation, um, and, and a lot more. So once your WordPress.org account is set up, you're joining the WordPress Slack community, or you can join. All right, so how do you create your own WordPress.org account? Good question. So you can do that here at um, login.wordpress.org slash register. Um, I will put this link in the chat Oop. so you all can um, follow along if you'd like. So if you don't have an account, um, go ahead and click on register here. Um, you know, I think I am going to do this live with a test account. so. I'm gonna switch my screen share here. See how that works out. Okay. So here is the screen where um, you can create a wordpress.org account. Um, so here you will um, enter in your preferred username and your email address. So um, I'm going to do some sort of test 
random string of numbers here. Um, and then an email address. Let me see if this works. I'm going to, with Gmail, you can add like a plus and um, some characters to create a unique email address. So I'm doing that. Um, you have to check that you read and accept the privacy policy. Um, so you'll have to, you know, make sure that you've read through this before clicking the, the box here. And it's optional here um, that you can subscribe to the WordPress announcements mailing list. Um, I have that, I'm subscribed on many different email addresses, so I'm not gonna do that on my test account, but that is up to you. Um, if you already have a WordPress.org account, you'll also see these links at the bottom here um, where you can log in. So I'm gonna go ahead and create this account. And it wants to know that I'm a human. Bridges. Let's see. I think that one's a bridge. Please try again. <laughs> Thinks I'm a robot. Um, let's try this again. All right, so that was accepted. Um, and I had to check my email for a confirmation link to set my password. So I'm going to go over to my test email. And now I can create a password by clicking on this link. You want to make sure to choose a strong password for your account when you're prompted. Um, there's a suggestion here, or you can um, you can enter in whatever you want. Um, I'm going to use its suggestion here, and optionally, you can add a link to your website, your location, what you do for work, and your interests. So that will populate on your um, your profile. Oops. So I'm just going to put in WordPress org for my site. Oops. Then I'm going to create my account. It says my account is pending approval. So let's see. Maybe it's because my email looks suspicious or something, but um, I might have to wait a bit to see that happen, but I'm gonna go ahead and save my profile information. Well, I think that's it for my demo since it looks like um, I'm waiting for approval on my, um, on my new test account, um, normally that will, your profile will, will be created right away. Um, but, um, yeah, that's it for that. I'm going to go back to my other screen here. The so next, um, I want to show how you can customize your profile. Uh, so if you don't have a profile photo or a unique avatar, um, you'll want to create one if, if you want. Um, it helps put a, a face to the names on our screen. Um, so if you upload your profile photo, photo to Gravatar, it will be um, added to your WordPress.org profile um, and will be used across um, I love the WordPress.org sites. Um, so Gravatar is intended to aggregate several of your email addresses and profile photos. So this is how, um, so not just your profile on WordPress.org, but it's used on Slack um, and other systems that will have your likeness or whatever image you choose to represent yourself um, displayed. 
Um, so details on creating an account here is on Gravatar's website. Um, and I've linked that in the chat. So once your Gravatar has been created, um, you can continue by editing and completing your WordPress.org profile. So um, let me show you an example here. So I'm looking at my profile. And if I click edit profile, you'll see this screen. So you can edit or add more information as, as you like. So the general tab here, you'll see it at the top here under my picture. Uh, that will display your username, email, and allow you to reset your password. You can choose to connect your GitHub account here as well as you, if you have a GitHub profile. Um, you can complete your preferred name and your about me details. Um, so you'll see like there are only a few fields here that are required. Uh, your name, of course, but everything else here is optional. So when you're done uh, filling out this tab here. Remember to hit save at the bottom. And then under the extras tab here, let me show you what that looks like. Um, you can indicate your employment information um, and your job title um, and enter in your interests. Um, maybe that's where I will put in mine um, since I haven't done that yet, apparently, even though I've uh, been using this profile for over seven years now. Um, Let's see, food and drink. There we go. And you can click if you use WordPress for personal or business reasons. Um, again, that's not required. Hit save changes at the end. Got a confirmation that my change is saved. And then next, there's the contribution tab. On the contributions tab, you can specify if you're sponsored by a company um, or organization and how many hours a week you give to various teams. Um, so it doesn't show a field here since I've already confirmed my employment. Um, so that is there. So um, Five for the Future is the initiative for organizations to give 5% of their resources back to the WordPress open source project. Um, so I am part of that 5% within Automatic. And um, yeah, that pledge has been confirmed. Um, so that's listed here. And I click that I am indeed sponsored. Um, I contribute full time. So I'm 40 hours a week and um, I contribute to multiple teams. So um, when you, if you do contribute to teams, you can click um, on Mac, at least I think you click the command button to select multiple teams here. And Oh, here, it says down here, could hold control command while clicking to select more than one team. When you hit save changes. So on the right-hand side, you also see there's a, an area to edit your forum profile. So this is the profile that is presented on the support forums. So it's slightly different, a lot of the same information. Um, so it shows different details. It's worth a worth a quick peek to edit any additional information that you want to add on your forum profile. Um, so just to give you a refresher, a forum profile will look like this. Pretty simple. Um, and what you can see here is like um, any topics that you started. Well, I've never started a topic on the forums, but I answer. Um, questions and support um, issues in the forums. So um, I can quickly refer to all of the replies that I've made in the forums. And then lastly, uh, from your primary WordPress.org profile, which I'm going to go back to, let's go all the way back. All right, so from your primary profile, you can configure notifications that search for your name or any other um, keyword that you'd like. And so these notifications can be received in email and Slack. Um, this can be a great way to monitor your brand mentions or your name if it's unique. So um, I think I have a notification, let's see, edit notification settings for 
oh, I must have taken it off. <laughs> so I can add in, so I get notifications already for my um, my profile name for Courtney PK. So like if I wanted to get notified, if someone mentioned, oh, I don't know, uh, Gutenberg or, <laughs> or something, um, I can get a notification for that. Um, and you can choose here whether you want to receive a notification by email or by direct message from Slackbot in, in Slack. So that's an automated ping. Um, and I think that's it for profile there. Um, let's go back to our presentation here. Um, yeah, I've already gone over all these points here, but um, I'll share a link to these slides later so you'll have all the links and all this information that I've shared. So, so now that your WordPress.org account is set up, um, it's the time to join the WordPress Slack community. So if you go to chat.wordpress.org, um, that's where you can sign up for an account on Slack. There's a link for you um, because it prompts you to log in with your WordPress.org profile. So be sure to read all of the information on this page before getting started. Um, an important thing to note is that the email address that is going to be associated with your Slack username will look like um, your username at chat.wordpress.org. So make a note of this um, as it's the email address that you'll use to log into Slack. Um, I'm going to paste an example of what that looks like in the chat. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it'll be important if you forget your password. Um, so for example, mine would be CourtneyPK at chat.wordpress.org. That's what I use to log into Slack. Um, only Slack can email the special address, so you don't need to worry about getting spam um, or anyone else contacting you through that email address aside from, from Slack. Um, so after you accept the invitation to join Slack, you can change your email, but remember that that email address will be public if you end up changing this um, special email address. And that is all that I wanted to share with you today about WordPress.org profiles. Um, I'd love to hear from you in the chat if you'd like to share your WordPress.org profile. Um, yeah, I would love to, to connect um, if you're on the WordPress Slack. Of course, I am Courtney PK over there. Um, if you're setting up a profile later, uh, we have a quick video guide um, that you can follow along as well. So here's a link to that. Um, and translated versions are being added as they're available. So you'll see on that link um, that there is there are multiple languages um, of this tutorial available. So I'll go ahead and click on that so you can see it too. So if you can share this with your colleagues, your friends, your family, if they want to set up an account on wordpress.org. Um, so at first, you know, they'll show a, an English language guide to that. Um, but then we have many other languages that this video has been translated into, which is fantastic. And if you um, speak another non-English language fluently, um, we'd love to have you contribute to translations. All of these translations were done by volunteers. So it is great motivation for uh, for contributors. All right. And as uh, promised, um, I wanted to provide my contact information here. So please keep in touch. You can find me on the WordPress Slack as Courtney PK. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, please, please get in touch if you're interested or you're interested in contributing to the training team and learn WordPress or contributing to the WordPress open source project in general. Um, I love helping getting new contributors started. Um, the training team would be happy to have you on board um, if you're interested. Um, and we could guide you through your contribution journey. You don't need to know code. You don't need to be a technical person to contribute to WordPress. Um, and we can find something that you can do to help make WordPress. Um, and if you use Mastodon or Twitter or the 
the platform formerly known as Twitter. These are my usernames there, and you can connect with me there. So thank you everyone for learning with us. You can find more educational resources, um, online workshops, tutorials, lesson plans, um, stuff to learn and teach WordPress at learn.wordpress.org. So thank you everyone for being here today.